Hey everyone, we're at VMworld and I'm here with Josh, the CEO of AirVM. Um, AirVM obviously is a fairly new company still. Josh, can you explain a little bit what AirVM does, how it attaches to the VMware world, and why you guys are here, what your business is? Absolutely. So AirVM is uh, a software company that has emerged out of an infrastructure as a service business. So we started as a VMware-based infrastructure as a service provider a few years ago, and we saw a need to have a management platform to help us create some efficiency, self-service, billing and chargeback, and we saw, we ended up taking that IP that we built for ourselves, and we've taken it to market to the other cloud service providers around the world using VMware. So you started off as a service provider, but now basically you're more of a software provider. We are absolutely a software company today, but we have, our roots are a service provider. So we're out selling to service providers, but we've walked a mile in their shoes. We understand the problems that they faced, and we use software development to solve them for ourselves. Exactly, and I think VMware is now actually playing into that space by delivering VCD8, but it has no management interface for it. So that's your, your ideal connection, I think, to that market. It really is. So as a cloud management platform, we do provide a, a, a user interface for the end customer and the service provider, but we provide a host of other capabilities in addition that you wouldn't get out of VCD. But what's great about it with the, the user interface for VCD8 not existing and not being developed any further, a customer that is leveraging AirVM as a management platform gets all of the new feature and functionality that comes out in VCD8, but still has it in a much more streamlined and efficient user interface than they had in VCD to begin with. Exactly, you named another, uh, a bunch of other things that you can manage for, for the customers. What, what other sort of entities within a service provider infrastructure would you also be able to manage? Certainly, so we've really been focused exclusively on other VMware technologies thus far. So we've got a lot of service providers that are still using vCenter based technologies to offer that to their customers. They're not using VCD. So we can fully manage VCD, uh, VCD, vCenter, uh, vCloud Network and Security, and now NSX Manager in compatibility mode, and any of the new managed service providers that are selling, reselling vCloud Air, we provide them in their same management platform to be able to resell vCloud Air. Great, um, actually that's a very good point because um, I hear a lot of service providers complaining to VMware obviously that NSX compatibility is not in VCD8. So by using your management platform, service providers can actually leverage the power of NSX, but still manage it with your platform, is that correct? That's correct, so that's part of what we, the, the nature of what we've done. We've done a lot of those native integrations into VMware to provide a more comprehensive feature set. Perfect. In a and single pane of glass. Yeah, perfect. And, and of course, obviously you're doing this already with a number of service providers. Can you mention a couple of? Do you have a couple of public? We do. We've got, uh, we've got a good spread of service providers around the world, specifically in North America and EMEA. We've been working with customers like Rackspace, Fujitsu, Fundaments, Vox Telecom. So there's a good number of service providers. That a couple of there. big players as well. There's some, definitely some large end players, and uh, we've, it spans the gambit, right? VMware has over 4,000 service providers, and you know a few hundred of those are customers today. Exactly. So a few hundred are customers. There's a host of uh, service providers that haven't heard of you yet. What would be their first step to get a hold of your software, or at least get to play with it a little bit? So you can go online, you can take a look at our demos that we have online, you can talk to our sales team. We've got our sales guys in, in all of the continents that we're out doing business in, or you know, there's going to be a demo that we have as part of this video that they can reference that to get a high level preview of, of what we're offering. Perfect, thank you very much. I think it's a very compelling business reason to go watch that video. Um, thank you very much and have a great show. Thank you, Jeremy. Have a good day.